Time and fashion are social constructs, but lockdown isn't. Please stay inside. By the way, I've never felt more fashionable. Hello there. Okay. All obnoxiously cool fashion aside, I am bored. I have been in lockdown for one week. I'm well aware there are areas of the world where lockdown's been in place significantly longer. And I have decided that to make good use of my time by painting 100 pennies in 24 hours. Now this requires a little bit of backstory. You see, I follow Robin Sealark here on Tumblr, who is an amazing artist. And she did a video at uh, the beginning of 2019 where she bid 100 penny paintings with tiny landscapes. And I thought it was beautiful. I thought it was amazing. I thought, hang on a second. It's just a call, I swear. I thought it was a brilliant project. I thought the pennies looked beautiful. I thought, I wanna give that a try. Oh, you thought the hat was going? No, the hat stays. So I wanted to give that a try uh, and up the stakes a little bit and try to do 100 tiny penny paintings in 24 hours. But Rayek, I hear you say, what claim have you to something so bold? Can you paint with opaque mediums like wash and acrylics? No. Do you have a lot of practice painting on a small scale? Also no. Do you have anything better to do with your time? Oh yeah, lots of things. I've got lots of projects on, lots of things to do, deadlines to meet, all that kind of thing. So shouldn't you be doing that? No. Uh, real quick, you should totally check out Robin's channel and the 100 pennies video specifically. Uh, links below to all of her wonderful weirdness. Alright, back when I was young and foolish, I was pretty confident in my ability to complete the monumental task I had set myself. Now, it's worth noting that my method of self-improvement and learning is just to try things and see what makes me froth up the mouth with rage because I can't make what's in my head appear for whatever reason. Which in this case was a lot of reasons. But I started pretty simply. I pre-painted all 100 pennies with white acrylic gesso and used a penny to make 100 little outlines for the sketches and plans so that I'd be able to fully utilise the 24 hours just for painting and not for scrambling out of ideas. I probably should have taken into account that I'm much better with pens rather than paintbrushes, so some ideas that I sketched out were just too detailed for my skill level. But I guess hindsight is 2020 for that reason. Regardless, I took a leaf out of Robin's book and grouped the pennies by theme into fives. It actually made ideas easier and I hoped it would make the final collection more professional and cohesive. Was what I produced professional? Well, no. But let me explain why I'm still proud that I tried it and why I'm pleased with the results. See, as stated before, I was so caught up in doing the challenge that the fact this would only be my second time using gouache kind of escaped me. Working in opaque colours without the light to dark of layering like watercolour really threw me for a loop and many of my designs were far too small and detailed for the brushes and my lack of practice. These are not complaints, these are observations. Post-challenge observations. This is the part of every challenge I have to stop and kick my ego back into place. Obviously, my attempt is not going to be as good as Robin's. She's a landscape oil painter by profession who went to university for exactly this. I am a gremlin who arts mostly for fun with pens and watercolours who's never attempted anything smaller than A6 in her life. What this means is that while the challenge highlighted a ton of areas I need to improve on, it also showed me some things I had no idea that I figured out, and I produced 17 little coins out of 100 that I am incredibly proud of. For instance, I figured out that such small pieces better suited suggestion rather than explicit detail in what I was painting, as obvious as that seems. So I was better off with cityscapes, landscapes and portraits than I was with, say, the potion bottles that I tried. This was especially a revelation seeing as I never draw landscapes or portraits normally and it turns out I actually quite like it, seascapes with pirate ships especially. But this 
theme of suggestion also turned to monsters, and they were some of the most enjoyable, if not completely successful, pennies that I tried. Indeed, there were a couple of pennies that, despite me trying to suggest, I still put too much detail into it, and because they're so small, it muddied everything up. There's at least one in here that's just absolutely indescribable. I can't make a single thing out with it. It just looks like a mess of black lines. So, uh, lesson learned. Around the time the challenge was wrapping up, I figured out that I could actually thin out the gouache to act like my usual watercolours. So I was finally able to play with the lighting and shading effects that I'm used to portraying. I also may have potentially lost a little bit of patience towards the end and resorted to some of my brush pens, as they have much better fine point control than I did with my brushes and I could do something more similar to my line style. It didn't really work with all of them, but I think it worked with most of them, so I'm pretty pleased with how they turned out. Okay, I'm gonna stop the voiceover right here and leave you with an epic montage, first of the 17 truly awesome pennies that I completed, and then all 100 following up. Thank you so much for watching this far into the video, I hope you will watch until the end. Uh, please remember to click like and subscribe for more content, I'm going to have a new video coming up very soon of the next Local Fool Tries series, so keep an eye out for that, and hopefully get all these Inktobers finished before April. Please let me know in the comments if you liked what you saw, if there's anything you would want to see again or want me to expand on, comments are the best way to let me see what you're after. So please feel free to yell at me, I guarantee I will respond. Thanks again for watching and I will see you soon, goodbye and thank you. Thank <laughs> you.